Can you hear me? This is uh, uh, language. Uh, uh, this is about language tools, more specifically about English. Uh, my name is uh, Amit Ranjan. I'm a faculty of um, English at um, CIED. So, um, <clears throat> is there anything that specific that you guys want to address, or so we can do a um, general thing? Is there anything specific? You can write in the chat box, and I'll try to um, address that. But this is primarily about um, um, what they call language teaching, but I would like to focus on the fact that language is not separate from literature. And now um, in NEP 2020, there is a lot of talk about um, integrated learning. And so even without that, we have to understand that no language exists um, without literature. And probably the best way to teach um, grammar is through literature. The more you practice a language, um, the more you learn it. And the best practice is through uh, stories. Right? Um, and, and we are all, as human beings, wired into uh, learning, uh, hearing, and telling sir, stories. we are not getting you properly, sir. Not getting me properly. <clears throat> Just a second. Now, can you hear me better? Not audible still? It's audible, sir. Audible. audible. Okay, fine. <clears throat> sir, Hindi mein nahi bolenge, sir. Hindi mein? Haan, sir, Angrezi to samaj mein nahi aati, sir. <laughs> Hindi and crazy mila yeah, bhai, Hindi mein bolenge but te... This is for English, English, isn't it? Ye to English ah. ke liye tha, na? Session to Angrezi ka hai. Yeah. Sir, um, uh, kuch loog aise bhi honge jinko um, uh, Angrezi, uh, Hindi samaj nahi aati. Phir kya karenge? Session to Angrezi ka hai hai. Um, but... language English or Hindi sabhi aate hain. To English wale to English ke but Hindi wale ke liye issues hain. Hindi wale ke liye issues hain. Khaje lo. To ab isme ye hai ki ab sabko Hindi samajh aati ho to bilingually kar lenge. No. To khair ye. Ye mujhe Hindi hi samajh pe aati hai banda. Acha, ठीक है. To mila jula ke kar lete hain. ठीक है. Mila jula ke sab. ठीक है. तो मैं ये कह रहा था कि जो भाषा हम पढ़ाते हैं विद्यालयों में इसमें भाषा जो साहित्य से अलग नहीं होती और साहित्य के माध्यम से ही भाषा सीखी जाती है क्योंकि कहानियां सुनना और सुनाना ये हमारे ह्यूमन नेचर हेलो सभी लोग अपने अपना म्यूट कर लें हाँ सभी लोग अपने अपने म्यूट कर लें जो आ, मसले हैं आपके वो आप चैट बॉक्स में लिख दें और वो मैं साथ में पढ़ रहा हूँ तो आ, मुझे उसको मैं एड्रेस कर रहा हूँ ठीक है तो आज आ, के समय में एआई तो बहुत बाईलीप्स एंड बाउंड्स डेवलप कर रहा है आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस तो टूल्स हमारे पास बहुत है टूल्स की कोई कमी नहीं है uh, whether it's on uh, your mobile phones or on the internet, the number of tools is huge. बहुत सारी चीजें हैं जिसके सहारे हम कर सकते हैं। तो उनमें से कोई भी tool हम choose कर सकते हैं। इनमें से कुछ tools मैं आपको बताऊंगा। लेकिन tool के चयन से ज़्यादा आवश्यक है, ज़्यादा important है experience कैसे विद्यार्थियों में experience create किया जाए, कैसे उनके अंदर तजुर्बा create किया जाए। क्योंकि एक्सपीरियंस इज ऑलवेज बेटर दैन टीचिंग इसीलिए विद्यार्थी भाग के वीडियो गेम्स खेलते हैं सोशल मीडिया पे जाते हैं अगर वही एक्सपीरियंस हम गेमिंग का वीडियो गेम्स का सोशल मीडिया का क्लास में रेप्लिकेट कर सके उसको वैसे इंटरेक्टिव बना सके तो कई समस्याओं का समाधान हो जाएगा सो इट इज सेट दैट डोंट टीच बट create an um, experience. So, of course, we cannot use the same kind of um, um, tools um, that we use on the mobile apps, but on sub ke alternative kuch na kuch um, available hote hai. Um, jaise ki 
कुछ कुछ टूल्स देखते हैं हम उनमें क्या क्या है पर उससे ज्यादा जरूरी है स्टूडेंट्स में किसी भी विषय के लिए एक पैशन इनकलकेट करना उस, उसकी मेथडोलॉजी हमें खोज नहीं होती है आ, सबसे बड़ा चैलेंज वही होता है वॉट वॉट विल अपील टू दैम वॉट विल अपील टू दैम एज अ गेम वॉट विल अपील टू दैम इन टर्म्स ऑफ लर्निंग क्योंकि जो हम दीक्षा देते हैं शिक्षा देने की बजाय जो फ्रीज करते हैं उसमें स्टूडेंट्स गेट बोर्ड बोर्डम इज द बिगेस्ट चैलेंज दैट एनी टीचर फेसेस सो वंस वी क्रॉस द बॉर्डर ऑफ बोर्डम देन वी कैन डू समथिंग अबाउट तो सबसे आसान तरीका तो गेम्स होता है वंस इफ वी हैव um smart boards in our um, schools which i assume uh, hai aapke paas kuch na kuch resources hain um ya laptop hai internet hai ya mobile mobile phones hai jiske applications use kar sakte hain to kuch examples dekhte hain aur uh, agar ye nahi bhi hain to inko hum alag alag tarike se apne classroom mein board pe hi kar sakte hain you can do it by hand only so For example, there is this. Um, बंद कर और होमवर्क निकाले किस समय जो ढाई बजे शेयर को आधा घंटा देखे कितनी देर देखेगी कितनी देर देखेगी किसी का किसी का माइक ऑन है कैन यू प्लीज स्विच ऑफ योर माइक ये है सी सॉ डॉट एम ई और आपके स्क्रीन पर अब प्रॉब्लम यह है कि ये ज्यादातर वेबसाइट्स जो हैं पेड वेबसाइट्स होते हैं जो कि ऑब्वियसली हम अफोर्ड नहीं कर सकते जब तक इंस्टीट्यूशनली उसको नहीं किया जाए लेकिन जो इनके ट्रायल वर्जन होते हैं या जो बेसिक वेबसाइट होता है उसमें भी बहुत सारे रिसोर्स होते हैं जो बहुत काम के हैं तो ये आप लोग नोट कर लें वेब डॉट सी सॉ डॉट मी एंड एज यू कैन सी दिस इज अ पेड वेबसाइट इट टॉक्स अबाउट प्राइसिंग बट देर आर लॉट्स ऑफ रिसोर्स जिनकी हम मदद ले सकते हैं तो जैसे कि लेट्स लुक एट क्लास रूम डेलीज सपोर्ट एंड रिसोर्सेज में जाए सी सॉ लर्निंग हब सॉरी दैट इज द पेड वर्जन विच विल क्लासरूम्स में जाए so the website is seesaw.me um and then you have explore community library and classroom daily so isme agar aap sign up karte hain uh aur aap apne institution ke liye ek tab hai kone mein request information you can ask for information if you want to purchase it that would be very good but i don't know which institutions will support it but iske bawajood in websites pe jo um, basic uh, uh, information hai jo basic exercises hai wo bhi bahut acche hain So let sir, us explore the community library. Haan, sir, right? is there any open source website, sir? There Free. are very few open source websites. I'm still looking at them. Um, there are some. Um, there are some. 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 There उसके बाद आप पे करेंगे तो और रिसोर्स आपको मिलते हैं बट सो शॉर्ट लिस्टेड सम ऑफ देम व्हिच आर वेरी गुड इन टर्म्स ऑफ द एक्टिविटीज दैट आर लिस्टेड एंड द काइंड ऑफ वीडियोस एंड स्टोरीज दे हैव मेड तो जैसे कि ये देखते हैं इसमें से कुछ भी ले लेते हैं राइमिंग असेसमेंट ले लेते ठीक है अब ये क्रिएट वंस यू एंटर द पेड वेबसाइट यू कैन क्रिएट दिस आल्सो वर्ड वॉल में हम ऐसे भी क्रिएट कर सकते हैं फ्री में भी विल सी वर्ड वॉल जस्ट आफ्टर दिस सो ये जैसे राइमिंग असेसमेंट लिया हमने राइट 
So this is the free version. This is not paid. So the free version also has a lot of things. So here there are tabs which will pronounce the word. So this will talk. What rhymes with dog? Check out. So this is frog. Or cat, which will rhyme with that. So, um, very nice, colorful um, interface, and the free version also has this. So, this is B, and this is C. Let's see what this is. Buck, and this must be Buck. Coat and boat. Is there a There are, um, as you can. See, there are many of um, uh, exercises uh, like these. Yeah, um, this was rhyming. Then there's a lot of interdisciplinary learning also, like technology advantages and disadvantages. Let's try it. This has a video where a father is speaking to a daughter about it, about what are the, and then there's a whole PowerPoint. <clears throat> uh, what all is loss of privacy, lack of access to information, negative effects on health, improved communication. So, when we promote technology, promote kar rahe hai, uske saath saath technology ke baare mein charcha honi bhi hai. So, uh, this is a very good model where there is art, uh, I mean, knowledge integrated learning of different kinds where you are learning um, uh, the language through rhymes you're also getting familiar with animals for example you're also learning about technology what uh, that we should not blindly endorse technology what are the pros and cons of it um no modules resources and there is, and this is all um, collaborative. Different school teachers and different um, creative people have come together to make these um, uh, modules. Let's say this is Scrabble, which has a spelling board. Side may spelling tiles and this is not working properly. But it does not have the um, no, so we can drag and drop over here and create words. So one will have to read the instructions of each of these um, um, games. So, for example. And this can be collaborative between um, uh, different students in the class, um, like a Scrabble game. Right. No word, and so on. <clears throat> and this, of course, can be recreated um, without these apps. These can be recreated in the classroom, games like these, uh, games like Scrabble or um, Anagram. Right, so that is um, roughly what Seesaw um, has on it. And as you can see, there are many, many different kinds of uh, things. There is writer's workshop. Um, there is uh, selfie science, how to take selfies, all kinds of things. Photo of daily maths, what can you create? So there's a lot of focus on creating and of the kind of things that um, um, students are interested in what would what they would like playing as games or as shape scavenger hunt.
instructions. This is not working properly. Anyway, so this is just one website that I wanted to show you. It's called seesaw.me and it's very useful in terms of these activities which will inspire you to um, uh, build these kind of activities in the classroom as well as you can use this resource. Another one is um, word wall, which is very good. So this is wordwall.net. I have created my profile, so I was just trying something. Um, <clears throat> this is anagrams. You know what anagrams are. Anagrams are when you jumble up um, letters within a cluster of letters and you get a word. And this is a very good exercise um, for students. I'm a real sucker for it because um, um, this is one of my favorite games also and students love it. It's also very addictive, unfortunately, that you take a bigger word and ask students to make smaller words with it, as many words as they can make. And um, uh, so this becomes a very interesting exercise. There's um, a mobile app, which is very good in terms of this, but I don't know which website does this. It's called Word Collect. So for example, we have this anagram over here. We have to find the right word for it, the word that will form by rearranging the letters. So let's try. And it also gives you a tick mark if your thing is at the right place. Okay. So I'm doing it fast because uh, we have to go through many things. So <clears throat> placate, for example. So word wall is um, free for these um, uh, resources. I created this for free. Um, and uh, there's lots of things on word wall like this where you can create your various templates. Let's have a look. So these are the kind of templates they have. Match up, quiz, random cards, random wheel, group sort, anagram, missing word, uh, <coughs> crossword, label diagram. These resources are free. So um, it's pretty good. Now let us look at um, some of the examples given over here. And you can, of course, up, as you can see, there's an upgrade option also to um, um, get more resources. But this itself has tremendous number of resources. Um, So all these uh, features are available, but first let me try and show you some examples that are given over here. So, uh, wordwall.net and slash community, which will give you lots of examples. And you can create all these, uh, most of these, except for some which require premium, like, um, like maps or something may require a premium application. But in terms of language learning, storytelling, and all of that, uh, for that, we can create lots of, I'll show you some examples also how to create. Like I created that um, anagram. So let us take um, anything, position game, the cat is, so and, um, you can see that examples like these are very useful, um, where we use animals, animation, and options like these. Um, this is what the whole imagery of it is what students remember very well. 
There are 12 questions over here. We can go through, go through all of them or try something else. So um, take the example, guess who I am. Where is, okay, let's see. Guess who I am. Ah, this is um, a spinning board. And this is okay, spin it. Right. I appear on the left side of the taskbar. Does it appear on the left side of the taskbar? See, that's eliminate. And so this is about computer literacy, of course. Um, so can we change it according to our uh, demand? Absolutely. Like, okay. absolutely. So for example, these are the templates. Those are examples of what people have made. So for example, let's create our own um, random wheel. Um, so let us say, let's create our, well, these are examples. Uh, common and proper noun can have Sure. So these are different kind of templates that can be used. So where is common proper noun? Yeah. Okay. So and um here's the option to yeah so it'll be like this i don't know where the instructions of this are how to play it so newspaper resume i think i mean we have to have an option which says common and proper instead of resume and eliminate so anyway so let's say let's eliminate it and see what happens so we can build these templates also or use what is over here um let's see some other kind of um, templates um, so common and proper noun has all these um, different kinds of templates so the same questions can be asked through different kinds of methods but where to show the answer if the children yeah, yeah that's playing? that's what i'm trying to figure out because like the other one we saw the rhyming verses we could match cat with bat and all that but here it looks like um, okay garden so it probably um, is a thing to display. Um, this is not interactive in the sense of uh, your computer being able to tell the answer. These are just templates. You can show it to the students and they can answer in the class in that way. So it's just that you can use these um, on your um, whiteboard to uh, as a game, but the answer is to be told by the teacher. Because but we do, like what we do, sir, we don't use this uh, tech, tech and all we use, we take in the blackboard and we divide the class into groups and we are telling to pronounce, tell uh, uh, common noun and proper noun. Mm -hmm. And if the child, if we are displaying something on the board, if it is common noun, if the children say it, it is common, then we give it the right tick. Right, right. So that is the same thing. The technology does not do anything new. It's just that these will be um, displayed on the screen in a more, um, let's say, interactive and uh, attractive way. That's that's the only thing. But these, all these games can, of course, be replicated offline, on paper and everything. You can, like these um, uh, flashcards, um, you can make flashcards, 50 flashcards and um, show it and ask students one by one or distribute it to students and make them stand up and tell their word this Sunday, whether it's common or proper and why. So it's not necessary that one needs um, games online. These are all games that, that, are, that have been played 
in the classroom already. It's just that uh, um, this is to facilitate uh, learning on the screen now because everybody is getting onto the screen now. Um, that's all. So word wall. Uh, so what these websites can do, the seesaw and word wall, is they can give you an idea. If you're not using screen, what kind of games can be played? So at least that will give you a very good um, idea about. Um, and so you can use all these offline as well. Matching pairs, of course. We know all these games. This is that um, um, even if we print out these kind of things um, or use cards in the class, um, very good. So this will be helpful move in the junior section. Yeah, yeah, these are for junior sections, definitely. These are these are for primary. So which um, so for higher classes, of course, there'll be different kinds of um, um, grammar exercises as well as <clears throat> comprehension exercises. Yes, yeah, so can you can you show us one at least one for senior section? <coughs> Paragraph Excuse can me. be shown, sir. Paragraph. Definitely, definitely. So all where, kinds where of things. Um, <clears throat> so, um, <clears throat> and as you go slightly higher, so comprehension will have different kind of other other kinds of uh, websites, and I'll come to that. But for higher classes, we get into more complicated stuff like this, all right? To find uh, uh, <clears throat> the hidden words in the middle of this. Um, that's for smaller classes, your crosswords are three into three. For higher classes, you can make it eight into eight, ten into ten, whatever. <clears throat> Diagonal. So let's see, for example, Mercury, you know, things like this. Um, or these are about planets. So this is how you spot them and do that. So this is for slightly higher classes. For um, literature, and for higher classes, there's something called future learn. Um, <clears throat> unfortunately, future learn is also a paid website, as you can see, um, where there are all these um, uh, very interesting modules like Humphrey Davy, Laughing Gas, Literature, and the Lamp. <clears throat> But this is paid, so this is not much used. And there's something called edX. <clears throat> Sir, basically we need something for the language, uh, teaching language, because literature, we are having the books and all, and we take from that. Hmm. Language. So these are additional um, literature also, and of course, these additional resources, uh, a lot of which are on our Diksha portal as well. There's a lot yeah. of supplementary material on Diksha portal in, in terms of uh, videos as well as additional supplementary written material, and also on the PMD with the um, channels. So, but for grammar, um, it is these uh, games also on Diksha there's language lab which uh, <clears throat> which has exercises for um, higher classes also so this is um, uh, our website and CRT's website diksha.gov.in virtual labs.html so you can search diksha and virtual labs and here you can go class wise and explore so for example sir it is in... for a cbsc and bihar board both so this is of course um, um, I mean, grammar um, is neither CBSC nor Bihar, but you have to learn, if you have to learn language, you have to learn grammar. Um, but this is uh, largely um, in sync with NCRT syllabus, which is CBSC, right? So if you do not know, you should explore this also. Um, so anything. <clears throat> 
So I don't know if you have tried this or not. Um, the language lab. Sir, of... I have Diksha portal. Yes, sir. We have. I have tried many times. So on Diksha portal, you have to go on uh, virtual labs. And so, for example, I'm doing. Um, yeah. This is for class eight. So, <clears throat> learning pre prepositions of location, picture, dictation, for example. So first there's a theory that is given over there that subject, verb, preposition, object, etc. The basic idea is explained. And then we can get into the lab itself. And here they are exercises. Okay. So it's, um, as you saw the animation of the websites that we saw, Seesaw and WordWall is better than what we have. Of course, those have been made by, uh, those have been made in the US and all that. So their technology is um, cutting edge. We are still working on it, but these are very good um, in terms of uh, basic language exercises. The table is um, to the right. Oh, this object box. So that um, you have to follow the instructions. The table is to the right of the sofa and on the floor. So these are exercises that. Why is this not working? Some problem with it, but it works fine. <clears throat> Let's try another exercise. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> there are digital books in this, in this and uh, wait. <clears throat> Let's go back to it. <clears throat> If you go back to diksha.gov.in and virtual labs, let's try any, something else. Class level, for example. Let's try class nine English. So, for example, let us see direct, indirect speech activity. Let's do interactive. <clears throat> the guitar he said this is punctuating a direct speech right so the guitar close the port All right, so, um, so this is wrong, obviously. I put double quotes, so it'll show you wrong. <clears throat> that there has to be a single quote. I don't know how to undo it. Uh, yes, this is wrong, obviously. Take it out. So similarly, um, there are a few modules for class seven, eight, nine on Diksha, Diksha labs of this interactive nature. Um, 
and which uh, one can do very well in class as well. But um, this is so that students get some practice at home. Sir, apart from Diksha, is there any website free version grammar practice will be there? Um, not really. Most of the um, websites are um, paid with the free version or a trial version having a good collection of modules which can be replicated or used, but um, they cannot be. Uh, so there's other, there's Kahoot, which is free uh, for quiz, K-H-O-O-T. But that this can be applied to anything. Um, this, this is used for creating um, um, quizzes, but we are talking about language lessons which are largely you know, all these word wall, seesaw, <clears throat> they need some kind of a subscription, but what is available on the free version is enough to give you a good list of modules to demonstrate to students, to play interactively. Um, <clears throat> Google Classroom is free. So um, there is no British Council website, anything? The British Council had prepared um, a few things, like the seesaw is, is prepared by British Council, but um, it's, it's not a free website. But I will explore more, and um, in the next sessions, we'll focus only on the open source. So there's Google, um, Google Workspace, which is um, free, but in this you have to roughly um, um, there are no preloaded, there are very few preloaded resources. And like the others in which you saw that there are lots of resources about games and um, resources in which in Google, um, you largely have to create your own. Um, but, but Google um, Classes is also very good in terms of its, um, um, its interface and everything. Uh, you can create videos in it, you can put modules in it, and it's very attractive for, um, for children. Uh, it can almost replicate uh, Instagram-like videos and uh, things like that. So, for example, let's see what all is there on Google Plus 2. So these are when you have a sort of a, a smart board in class to be able to use. To see what are the pre-existing templates. <clears throat> So all these forms, but um, resource library. <clears throat> so if you go to a resource library, then you can see uh, different kinds of things. There's tools and apps over here. So let's narrow it down to, let's say, arts and history. Um, resource type, there are different kinds of resource type. There's guides, lessons, templates, tools, video series. Let's click all. Now let's see what it shows. So it will show you whatever people have shared for this in their different grades. <clears throat> This is just the view, they have not um, shared the complete thing. But 
at uh, Google Classroom does offer, as you can see, a lot of um, tools and apps and information in different categories. So this is about museums, so different kinds of museums that come up over here. And they have an online ex exhibition. So this is one um, uh, resource that you must all um, sort of explore in detail. And it's by different categories, different classes. Um, so I picked up arts and this thing. That's why um, <clears throat> it's showing these. But we can pick up different kinds of resources. We can change it to um, something else. Let us say for the classroom. You can create 3D models also. <clears throat> the virtual field trips, there are lots of resources over here. Let's see. It just goes back into asking for options. Let us say cultural learning. So there are ten ed educator talks. <clears throat> there are all these videos also about how to teach, um, how to preserve cultural heritage, and so on and so forth. This is an app. So. Right, so um, this has got multiple things, women in culture lesson plans, celebrating black history, culture and identity. So all these things can also be created by us. These are some of the samples that already exist on Google and Google of course is completely um, um, free. And so there are different kinds of themes, different kinds of resource, resources. You, know, you can pick what specifically you want. You want a video series about uh, distance learning. It will give you exactly that, right? So it's a very useful resource in terms of, um, um, so this is for educators and there's for students um, and all kinds of things. Integrated with Google Meet also, you can post your assignments also over, over here. And this will be collaborative, that all the assignments will be in one place and you can check them. So this is worth exploring. You can also post videos, whatever we can see as resources is also what we can post um, to our own classes. Or we can create our own groups and, and do it. So <clears throat> then these are the resources that you should keep in mind. Um, Google, uh, edu.google.com. It's also called Google Classroom. If you just Google Google Classroom, it will come up. And um, like I said, word wall, and then there's um, uh, Seesaw. Um, these are very useful. <clears throat> then there's also something called Read, Write, Think, which is also largely free. And this is readwritethink.org. And this has got lots of resources, as you can see um, on the left side, for different grades the number of resources they have. So let's click on grade five, for example. And they have got lesson plans as well as um, other things. This is just... Um, <clears throat> sir, is this preview. free one? This is free, yeah. Okay, thank you, sir. So Google Classroom and Read, Write, Think are two very useful resources. And um, you can see there's classroom resources, there's lesson plans, calendar, um, and you can take prints of things and so on and so forth. Or maybe also, Um, 
like this with birthdays of um, writers there's more about them in these so this is a very good website which integrates both literature and grammar uh, which you can uh, fun ways of uh, basic summaries of let's say this shakespeare about his birth what we can do in um, um, what we can do in the classroom <clears throat> um, and so there's a fun activity given over here for example the shakespearean insult kit which students would really enjoy uh, so, uh, so there are these four columns given over here so if you have to insult someone using shakespearean language how do you do it bathe thyself thou artless so so these are um, this is medieval english which shakespeare used many of the words that he invented and it's beef witted apple john so you can click on anything and this is a very great way to uh, learn both about the 16th elizabethan english as well as um, learn good words um, learn the syntax of, of uh, this time and um, really good phrases which otherwise um, students don't learn because we don't teach Shakespeare in the original um, except in let's say ICSC syllabus or whatever. So this language um, uh, is lost in translation, the beauty of Shakespeare's language. So exercises like this, bathe thyself thou artless beef witted apple john or drink up oil you beatless, um, you bootless, crook pated barnacle. And then you have to, of course, get into the meanings of these words. Um, and one gets, students would get curious about what these words mean. And they would start saying this to each other. So, so um, very interesting. Um, where did I use the main website? Sorry. So, let's go back to the <clears throat> So this way, there are um, very interesting uh, resources uh, on the right thing. There's comprehension exercises also, critical thinking exercises also. Um, and it's um, really um, the standard of this website is very high because it integrates, um, it does a lot of art integrated and multidisciplinary um, learning and in really a way that um, uh, that is interesting for the students, something that they'll remember. And um, it also, like I said, has different tabs. It tells you how to prepare for uh, this particular topic, what kind of standards um, should be used and you can um, you know, select the grade also and they'll give you a different, and there's related additional resources also, not for this topic, for example, but yeah, there's a tab called creative, creative thinking as well. Um, so, for example, here, the big bad wolf is, um, the story of the big, big bad wolf, which would be used to um, talk about um, the point of view, uh, the idea of point of view in literature. And same. So the main website has these kind of things. They have, um, and they lead to other websites. So there's, there'll be a okay, this is not good. fairy tale quiz. Uh, leads to a different website to uh, surlalunefairytales.com <clears throat> which has a very good uh, folklore database stuff like that. So read write think as a base website is very good. It leads you to very good interactive very standard um, resources which are very good for um, learning both grammar and um, through um, uh, aid of um, uh, stories. As you can see, they have woven stories around everything. 
Right. So now, um, are there um, any um, anything you would like to ask? So we can address that. So there's some. Uh, is uh, sir is Pinterest uh, the paid one? Because sometimes we use Pinterest also. No, Pinterest is free, and Pinterest um, also has lots of um, very good resources where people post, and it's very um, collaborative. So there's lots of stuff on Pinterest that can be used for um, classroom and people post yeah, really, very good creative stuff on. on uh, pictorial pictorial paragraphs are also given there. Yeah, yeah. Ex exercises. Um, and whatever we have discussed, match the following or spinning wheel and this and that, represented through diagrams, Pinterest is a very good resource to use for um, uh, for teach as a teaching aid, definitely. I think uh, read, write, and think this is also free. We can try this also, sir. Yeah, yeah. read, write, think is very good. Yeah. Um, it's not free, but it's got one month trial version. So at least one month it will remain free. You just need to uh, sign in with your Google account. Okay. And uh, in one month, you can explore enough. Yes. And if your institution can purchase it, nothing like that. Oh, yes. Sir, whatever website you find, uh, you can share with us on WhatsApp group also, even after the class. Yes, yes, sure, sure. So, but the basics that I said, please note them down, which is word wall, and you can just Google them. You don't need to know the exact web, website addresses. So there's word wall, there's seesaw, um, and Google Classroom, and read, write, think. These four are very good because there's endless number of websites. There's 30, 40, you can keep navigating through them, different kind of um, private parties, um, putting forth uh, similar content over there. Um, but it is about um, understanding, much more about understanding your students, how to immerse them in an experience, what will appeal to them, rather than um, just knowing more websites. Um, the most basic ones can also be very um, attractive if we use it the right way, if we apply it the right way. And the most basic one is Google Classroom. Like I said, it has also, Google is completely free. It's got lots of resources, try that. And also Diksha's language lab has got good exercises um, for classes seven to nine. Lower classes also, I don't, I don't remember. I've seen the seven to nine. So as a teacher, even I have uh, many MCQs question type for practicing uh, grammar. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. is there any website where I can put my material so that a student can get benefited for this? Yeah, yeah. So, you can create content on all of these on word wall on google classroom and on read i think you can post your content over there especially google is completely free it just needs a sign in and you can create and share it in your name and share it uh, for public make it open access and everybody will be able to see it and which is why there are so many resources we can see because other teachers whatever they have created they've made it open for public and uh, that's the best way to learn to collaborate and uh, put when out. we put in the word wall sir we don't have to take the permission um no they will ask you for your permission that is it all right to put it okay. online for public access that but word wall maybe uh, maybe one can post content only after getting the full version that i haven't tested but on google classroom you can you can post so that even Google Classroom is good for the students also. Sometimes they they want to know from where we can practice. So I can suggest them for the web, ped website. So it will be easy for them to absolutely and you can it can be complete, it's very collaborative also. You can create a virtual classroom over there and um, uh, create assignments over there and uh, students can make videos and post it over there. So you can have short one act plays played by students or skits played by them. That These students students really enjoy making videos. As you can see, everybody is making Instagram reels. So bring it to the classroom, ask them to make two minute videos 
uh, summarizing a story, highlighting a character, highlighting a point of view, whatever, and make it a competition. They'll be very excited. And all of these can um, then be posted on uh, Google Classroom and everybody can watch each, each other's videos. So these are, um, of course, uh, fun ways of learning, which they really enjoy. So your session Thank is you, very sir. wonderful. Thank you, sir. Wonderful Thank session, you so sir. Much. Thank you so much. All right. Um, all the best, and you, um, you can keep in touch um, over by email, uh, which yeah. can be had from the team. Thanks a lot.